All right, guys, now that we've gone through that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch back over. So let's get our, um, let's get our beta flight back and let's get ready to, let's plug in our flight controllers again. Okay. And then let's go ahead and get ready to plug in our uh, batteries here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and we can power these up. Okay, now we're gonna click connect. And the reason mine's turned is because my cables won't reach if I don't, maybe they will, I don't know. Yeah, there you go, I'll just leave it like this. Try to keep yours lined up if you can. When you get in there, reset the Z axis, calibrate your accelerometer, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our motors tab. And what we wanna do now is we want to, again, with props off, we wanna go ahead and click this switch to toggle to arm it. And then we wanna spin motor one, for example. And I'm gonna get that piece of paper back out because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this piece of paper and we're gonna spin motor one. And when I spin motor one, motor three started, when I moved motor one, motor three started spinning. And if you wired it like I did in the video, yours is gonna do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my piece of paper here and very quickly, I'm just gonna write one equals three. And what this means, if you were to make a column, this would be, um, let's say a uh, slider and then motor. So slider one moves motor three, okay? So then I'm gonna take two, okay? Slider two equals motor one. I'm gonna move three, okay? That was over here, so slider three equals motor four, and then by deduction here, four should move two, and it does. So slider four equals two. So what we have is we have our motors not uh, resourced properly to match the uh, sliders here, right? So it, we need to fix that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to our CLI. You can turn your toggle off right now, actually. Then go to our CLI, and we are gonna type the following. Type the word resource and hit enter and scroll all the way back up until you see the resource and it says motor one, two, three, and four. See that right there? I want you to highlight those, right click on there and left click on copy. Then I want you to right click on your start menu or I basically want you to open notepad, however you wanna get there. I right click on my start menu, left click on run. I type the word notepad here and I click okay and my notepad opens up. When I do that, I come anywhere on the screen here and left click, then I right click and I click paste. Now there is an exact copy of what was in my CLI, right? So let's look down this list. What we said is when we move slider one, motor three changed. So where you see motor one, you're gonna replace it with a three. Then we said when we move slider two, motor one moved. So we're gonna go ahead and put a one where the two was. When we move slider three, motor, oops, motor four spun. And when we move slider four, motor two spun. So all you're gonna do is go back in here and replace the numbers with the correct motor, okay? Then highlight all of that, right click on it, left click on copy, come down here to your text box down here, left click in here, then right click, left click on paste, and then hit enter. Okay, and you're gonna see it say resource uh, one is set. Let me try to scroll slowly here. See where it says resource motor, uh, resource motor three, and then it says it's already registered in motor one, motor one's disabled, and now it's set, and then motor one was changed where motor two was, and it just basically confirms everything you just typed. And then what you're gonna do is you come over here and you just type the word save and hit enter. Your quad is gonna reboot, all right? And you're gonna click connect, and you're gonna click reset, and then calibrate, just like we normally do. Come down to motors, and now, again with props off, you're gonna spin motor one, and motor one is now spinning. But take note now, motor one is spinning, and the, you can do this one of two ways. You can take a piece of paper and just kind of let it hit there, and you're gonna see. If the motor, if the paper goes to the right, it means your motor's spinning to the left or counterclockwise, okay? I just put my hand here and I just feel it kind of, it's no big deal. It's spinning to the left. That's, that's incorrect for my settings. So the next thing you're gonna write down here is you're gonna say, okay, motor, one right and you're going to put how it should be spinning clockwise okay but it's spinning counterclockwise so you put ccw okay 
Now we're going to run motor 2, which is the top right up here. That is spinning clockwise, which is incorrect for my configuration. So I'm going to put motor 2, and I'm going to put CW. Okay. Now I'm going to go to motor 3. Motor 3 is spinning clockwise, and that is incorrect. And motor 4, which is the top left, is spinning counterclockwise. So, so I'm going to put motor 4, CCW. Now, what I want is I want my motors to spin like this diagram here, clockwise on 1 and 4, and counterclockwise on 2 and 3, but mine are all reversed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here, turn this toggle off, click disconnect, go back to my BL Heli, click read setup, okay, and then one by one, by right clicking on each motor, motor one I'm going to right click so I isolate it, and I'm going to go up here to motor direction, and I'm going to click until it goes to reversed, and I'm going to click right setup, okay, then I'm going to right click on motor two, and I'm going to go to reversed, and I'm going to click right setup. Okay, I'm going to right click on motor 3, go to reversed, right setup, and motor 4, go to reversed, and right setup. Now, if your motors are spinning the right direction or something different, great. But what we want is we want our motors, so now I can just disconnect, go back to beta flight, reset, calibrate, go to my motors, and I want my motors to basically be motor 1 is CW for clockwise, motor 2 is CCW for counter, 3 is CCW, and 4 is CW, which matches this picture right here. So now when I go ahead and check it, and I spin motor 1, put my hand there, that's spinning clockwise, motor 2, spinning counter, motor 3, spinning counter, and motor 4, spinning clockwise. Now I'm perfect. Now everything is lined up. My motors are mapped properly and they're spinning properly, they're resourced properly. This thing is pretty much ready to fly. The only thing left to do is we need to load a VTX table for our, our, our um, uh, uh, sorry, for our VTX that's on board. But in this case, since we're not using smart audio, it really doesn't make a difference. So I'm actually, I'm probably not going to load that on here because everything on this video is done by pushing this button on this VTX. So I probably, actually, I'm not going to load the VTX table. There's no need to on this one. Um, so what we will do, though, is we can set up our OSD. Okay. And, and for the OSD, we can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put a few things here. You can do whatever you want. You can put battery voltage. Uh, where am I at? Battery. I'll show you what I put. I put battery voltage and I put it in the top left over here, uh, somewhere around there. And you can just play with that how you want. I put my um, fly mode as well. And I put that over here. And then I usually put the name, craft name. I'll put that here. Okay, and I'm going to save that, all right, and that pretty much does it except for me. what we're going to do next is we're going to come in and do the receiver, and we're also going to set some of our warnings up, like right? our battery voltage, our minimum, and so forth, so we'll do that in the next video, but now you've got your, guys, now you've got your motors uh, you've got your ESC done. You've got your motor spinning the right direction. You've got the resource to the right channel. I mean, you're ready to go. Next thing you do is we're just going to set up our radio. And in this case, because it's a free sky receiver, we're going to set up our free sky radio. And then we're going to take, take, take this for a little uh, test fly. Okay. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Let me put you back on the screen that we're at. And I will disconnect from there. And we'll put this like this. And I'll see you guys in just a minute.